Where should you put your focus on? TikTok, YouTube, or maybe both? Let's start with the good things about TikTok. Creating TikToks comes with a low production value. That means producing content won't break your wallet. All you need is a phone and a good idea, and that's it. The second thing that's good about TikTok is its new and innovative algorithm. The user experience for viewers on TikTok is that they watch random content on the For You page created by random TikTokers that they don't necessarily follow. Therefore, the TikTok algorithm doesn't really care if you don't have followers. You can get started on TikTok, create content, get picked by the algorithm, and get exposed to millions of people. It's easier to go viral. There's many trends happening on TikTok. For example, you can create a piece of content around a trending sound, or maybe react to a viral video, and that will probably help you get noticed. Fourth thing that's great about TikTok is its user interface built for cell phones. TikTok is accessible from anywhere you are, and it's super easy and comfortable to consume content on it. It's relatively new. There's not a lot of content creators utilizing this platform and creating quality content, and that means you have a chance to stand out. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, you should subscribe to our YouTube channel with that notification bell on. Also, slapity slap that like button to get more content just like this. Now, let's talk about the pros about YouTube. Monetization. It does take time to get there, but when you become a YouTube partner, the first way to monetize your content is through AdSense. You can get up to thousands and hundreds of thousands of dollars per month. The second way that you can monetize your content is through affiliate links. With YouTube, it's pretty easy to put those links in the description, unlike TikTok where you have one place to put that link. And the third way that you can monetize your videos is through brand integrations. Even if you have a thousand subscribers to your channel, there's still a chance that brands will want to work with you because they know that these subscribers are loyal to your channel and will listen to what you have to say. The second great thing about YouTube is it's very comfortable to consume content both on desktop, mobile phones, and on TV. You can get more exposure organically because YouTube is part of Google. And if you will tag and use the right keywords in your content, you might be ranking pretty high on those search results. It's probably one of the best AdSense payer. You can get up to three to five dollars per thousand views. People get notified about new content that you upload if they subscribe to your channel. Also, if they will add that video to their playlist, it's probably gonna find its way to more people. By the way, it doesn't matter if you create content for YouTube or TikTok, you still need amazing music for those videos. This is where Artlist comes in hand. Artlist is an amazing catalog of music and sound effects with a license that covers all your creative needs. You can find a link in the description down below. You should check it out. Moving on to the cons of those two platforms, starting with TikTok. People do not get notified when you put out new content. They actively need to go into your profile and search for new videos that you've uploaded. Usually, your audience that follows you is not that loyal. That means it's gonna be harder for you to try and monetize your content. And that will lead to a lower pay on brand deals and integrations. It's built in a way that created a very short attention span with users. The fourth con about TikTok is its low AdSense revenue. Usually you could get between two to four cents per thousand views, and that's not that high. Moving on to YouTube cons. It's very hard to get noticed on YouTube. There are a lot of content creators out there that are fighting for the viewer's attention. The second point about YouTube is that its mobile interface is not that great, so usually people will prefer to consume content on YouTube through their desktops or their TVs. But we will give YouTube a small positive point. They recently added YouTube Shorts, and that's more suitable for mobile consuming. Creating content on YouTube can come with high production costs. It's more time consuming and you'll probably need to invest a few bucks on lighting or a good camera. The fourth point about YouTube is that you need to get very professional when it comes to titling your videos and creating the thumbnails for your videos. You can create the most amazing video in the world, but if your title and thumbnail are not good enough or not eye-catching enough, nobody would see that video. And the final point about YouTube is that it's harder to get views. YouTube will count a view only after 30 seconds of someone watching your videos. 
That means that you need to put a lot of effort and a lot of thought into those first 30 seconds or else you're gonna just lose that view. Ultimately, both platforms have their pros and cons and it's really about your content and style. And why not spread the love and have your presence on both platforms? You can still focus on the platform of choice, but also repurpose that content to different places to try and create another income stream. But we really wanna know your opinion. What is your platform of choice, TikTok or YouTube? Let us know in the comments below. At the end of the day, it's all about getting started and less about where to get started. Till the next time, stay creative.